Parents say goodbye to terminally ill daughter. Then she opens eyes and says seven words. Every day at the age of 10, a normal kid would usually play and enjoy their life by making friends and sometimes doing chores inside the house. But life was a little different to a kid named Abby Furco. At an early age, she was diagnosed with leukemia of all the diseases and afflictions that can befall human bodies. It's perhaps the most terrible not only for what it does to its victims, physically and psychologically, but also for the devastation it wreaks amongst their family and friends. And recently, this was what Arby's loved ones were feeling. The sweet fifth grader was only four years old when she was given her cancer diagnosis. As her mom, Patty explained, the family were left reeling. They were devastated, and worst of all, the doctors only gave her a 20% chance of survival. Basically, even though there's little hope in sight, that didn't stop them from fighting with everything that they had. For the next six years, the family helped Abby and gave her the best life they could. She underwent a bone marrow transplant, intense chemotherapy, and radiation treatments, and a trial drug. According to Patty, they kept Abby surrounded by love because they knew at any moment they could lose her. There were moments when they didn't know if she'd pull through. There was a time when she had so many infections that could have ended her life. All they could do was watch her fight and try to get better. In October of 2013 came a ray of hope. Abby had finished her treatments and for one beautiful year, she was able to be a normal kid again. She attended school, went to soccer practice and joined the Girl Scouts. Tragically, there came September. The cancer sadly returned and this time it was worse than ever. As hard as the first diagnosis was, this time it tested every ounce of the family's being she became completely immobile. Any movement hurt her and she hardly spoke. She received another bone marrow transplant in February of 2015, but after just over two weeks, she was diagnosed with graft versus host disease, a condition where the donated marrow begins to work against the body until the following month her kidneys began to fail. She was put into intensive care and doctors told her parents that if they took her off dialysis, she would only survive for 48 hours. The whole family didn't want to say goodbye, but then there was nothing that they could do. The family placed Abby in hospice care, and her grandparents flew in to say their goodbyes. Then they began the heartbreaking task of planning her funeral, taking up her casket and the music that they would play. Then, inexplicably, a miracle occurred. Out of nowhere, Abby said seven words that no one expected her to utter, as Patty recalled how Abby said it. I have so much living to do. The whole family couldn't believe it in a matter of days, weeks, months. She started walking and getting stronger. It was an absolute miracle when the doctors agreed that there was absolutely nothing medically that could explain Abby's recovery. They helped her get home from hospice, but when they started backing off, Taking away treatments so she wasn't on so many meds, she started getting better all on her own. She had ups and downs, but she continued on this path and she made all of them look like fools. She defied every single odd, said Abby's doctor, pediatric hematologist and oncologist Jacob Wessler. Abby is now in remission and receives four steroids twice a day. Her prognosis remains uncertain, but her family is hopeful. They are taking each day as it comes and enjoying every precious moment that they get. With Abby, there is no better gift than a gift of life and chance. Family watched her pass away and come back to life, and what's best is they are now looking into the future.